Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm super excited to talk about the new plugin that I'm introducing about interactive input fields. Now this is plugin is completely free and I hope to keep most of its feature free in the future as well. And the reason why I created this plugin was because I had uh, this post basically blew up. It had about like 5,000 likes, about like 5,600 likes now, 344 reposts. And Florian went ahead and actually created an interactive input fields component. And a lot of people were loving it. So I actually loved it as well. I felt like it was a great contribution or an addition to the Figma community. But just after using it a bit, just for creating my YouTube video that I was planning to do with this particular plugin to promote it, it, it mentioned that it was just in trial. And this person is actually charging $6 per month for this plugin, which is completely insane to me. I mean, the amount of love he's getting, I mean, props to him for creating the plugin, but $6 per month. I mean, I'm looking at Jira, they're about charging six, $7 per month for Jira, $5 per month on the standard plan for Trello. And you've created this plugin, which basically, I don't know how much time it actually took. It only took me like about like one or two days maybe uh, to introduce a basic version of it. Obviously yours is uh, this particular plugin by Florian is a bit more complex, but we can add those complexities in if you actually want me to. So $6 per month. And I felt like it was unjustified. And if there's a lot of need for it, then I can go ahead and I can create a free plugin for you guys. So you can at the very least use them. So how do you actually use this plugin? Well, the first limitation based on for both Florian's plugin and my plugin is some of the interactions actually require a pro plan. So unfortunately, you would not be able to work with them in your free plan. So once you move your file to a pro plan, the plugin is extremely simple. You're just going to click, obviously, search for the plugin, which is here. This is what the plugin looks like. I'm going to add, add a link as well so you guys can open it. You just open this particular plugin. You define the number of fields that you want to create and you just create them. And that's pretty much it. Nothing else. You go ahead and I'm just going to open this particular frame so we can see it and we can play around with it. I can click on it. I can start typing. I can remove the whole thing by pressing backspace. I can do the same thing here and I can do the same thing here and I can do whatever at the rate of dot com and stuff along those lines. I can delete it as well. So I mean, pretty basic stuff. I mean, this isn't really rocket science and I definitely wouldn't be charging six dollars or ten dollars for something like this. So one great thing about this plugin is I don't really care what you do with it. You can go ahead and modify it however you like. You can even introduce the input field or the text outside of the input field and it's still going to work. You can go ahead and customize it however you want. You can make this input field really small. It's still going to work. You can start typing here. Everything's going to be working. You can go ahead and there's a focus frame inside of it, which actually shows the state when you're focusing on it. So imagine you actually wanted like a material design input field with the border at the bottom. You can just go ahead and resize this focus field to maybe something like this. You can go ahead to the main input field. You can go ahead and remove the border radius and change the border to just be at the bottom. And there you have it. You have something like that. And maybe if you want to expand the focus field a bit, I can zoom in and I can say maybe it's going to be slightly larger and pretty simple stuff like that. You can also make it completely dark if you want to. I'm going to say it's going to be like this. The text inside is going to be white and maybe the focus frame is actually going to be I don't know. It's going to have a shadow or something along those lines. I'm going to say it's going to have a shadow like maybe a bluish shadow or something along those lines. And maybe the blur is going to be 10 and stuff along those lines. So now there's a shadow. Obviously, it's still not as visible. So we can obviously make it visible just for this particular demo. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how you can customize this plugin and customize the fields however you want to. If you want additional um, features, definitely let me know. Do follow me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn and my YouTube are here as links. So you can directly cl click on them to follow me. So yeah, by all means, go ahead and share this plugin and let me know what other features you would like to see in this plugin. You can compare it with Florian's plugin as well. And uh, we can introduce some of those features uh, possibly for free if they don't take a lot of my time. And that's pretty much it. I mean, um, yeah, that's giving back to the community. So that's pretty much it. Do subscribe to my YouTube as well and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.